What are some highlights of the next season of Family Guy? Do you guys oh, we get the great season coming up? Um, we've got a really fun premiere where the Griffins uh, very irrationally decided to climb Mount Everest, and that doesn't go well. Um, we got another episode where the Griffins buy a farm and Peter becomes a meth dealer. Uh, one where Quagmire accidentally marries a hooker. And we got a really cool episode, which is our 200th episode, which uh, maybe Mark wants to... Uh, it, it's, uh, it's Stewie and Brian. This is our 200th episode, and Stewie and Brian accidentally re reverse the direction of time. And so they, we start to see everything is progressing backwards. People are moving backwards. And we, go, we get to see some of the iconic moments of Family Guy history in reverse. For those, like... Beginner writers, like you guys were, you know, at one point you weren't on a show. Yeah. How do you make that jump? You know, how do you get there? Like, what, what was like, what, what happened for you guys? Uh, you have to take this because I have to cough. Okay. <laughs> I so was uh, I was a greeting card writer and illustrator in Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, I I knew I wanted to write comedy. I did it all the time. I did it on the side, and and eventually I sent a bunch of cards to uh, William Morris Agency blindly in New York, and I got a call from an agent, and uh, she liked them and forwarded them to The Late Show with uh, David Letterman, and I got hired on there. That was my first job. I think it's also just about, this sounds so dorky and cliche, but it's just about constantly writing and generating new material, because you never know when your opportunity is going to come. You know, I worked on a couple shows uh, in various production uh, capacities. I was PA, and, and then ultimately I was a, what's called a writer's assistant on Family Guy in season one. So I was actually the person physically cha typing the changes into the computer. And enough times I would, you know, pitch a joke or have an idea for part of it. It took you seriously? Like they weren't, yeah. I don't know, too good for you to be like, eh, just keep typing. No, I mean, obviously I would choose my moments carefully. I didn't want to constantly be running off of the mouth going, oh, what if Peter bought a lamp? And, you know, just, you know, just constantly spewing out stuff. But enough times I would go, okay, I think I might have something here, and I pitch a joke, and, you know, and then, so after the first batch of episodes, I, I, I was promoted to being a, a staff writer on the show, so. That's a good story. Well, I think yeah. it's fun uh, that I enjoy about this industry and this job is you're constantly, you're constantly working with or meeting people that are that person who wants to be a writer, and sometimes they don't understand it, but I immediately see, like, that's me. You're me, like, eight years ago or 10 years ago, I was in your shoes, I was exactly doing what you're doing, and there is a way to get there, and you just, you have to persevere and, and work at it.